today I'm checking out a couple of Razorback, Razorback shovels. This one here, nice sharp edges. It's a five inch trenching shovel. And check out the uh, check out the angle on this thing. So you can, you know, manipulate it uh, to get some really nice, really nice angle going on. Sometimes, you know, it's harder to fight certain soil, so you can really maneuver that around and get a better thing going on. Check out the handle. Nice wood. Pinned in the one spot. And then here's this big guy. Spots there. Nice and wide. Man, this thing is a beast. A couple millimeters thick. Wood handle. So the project is uh, clear this out right here um, to make this little area into a garden but uh i don't know who put this little area up before but uh they didn't take it all the way over so that's the project get this thing moved over and uh in the meantime check out these shovels now this trenching shovel i mean it is uh a hot knife through butter it's beautiful. So, I mean, the soil's a little moist, but man, those angles really just tear right through the dirt. Very impressive. I mean, look, look at how uh, skinny of a mark it makes. So, you know, I had uh, not really even looked at uh, how much room I had here. Uh, and I was anticipating a little narrower of space because I just kind of forgot how wide it was. But uh, no sweat off my back. I uh, either way, I'm gonna get this done. But man, this thing is beautiful. And while the soil is, you know, a little moist, you gotta remember it's freezing cold out right now too. So. Definitely, definitely a uh, quality item here. Love it. Nice, uh, nice kick plates. Beautiful piece of equipment. Here's an example of a uh, five inch trench here. I don't think this video quality is going to be the greatest well, and it's amazing what you find in the dirt. But out start using that transfer shovel to uh, transfer a little dirt and maybe shave up the edges all right this transfer shovel here really does a nice job of cleaning up these edges as you can see there's you know, a little bit of a spillover from the concrete so it's kind of hard to get a really good angle at it um, but uh, yeah, I mean as far as also for uh, concrete surfaces, stuff like that, just getting a nice scoop underneath stuff. Um, love it. Definitely uh, two quality products from the Razorback line. And uh, happy with the acquirement. What I did forget. Uh, yeah, this this uh, head here, man, it's got some weight to it. So, um, if you're uh, maybe elderly, a little less strength, maybe uh, yeah, maybe this big guy's not for you. But uh, it does a great job of getting in and being able to flatly push this stuff out. 
here, you know, now we'll, maybe why this shell's got so much weight to it. Here's a standard transfer shovel. And look at that giant right there. So, yes, it is heavier. Yes, it can move more material. Just a couple other things I noticed here. No trick plate on here, but um, the way it's set up, I mean, you can still there's nothing to it. Basically, no kick plate required because of the way it's the way it's made, and then the angle of it to where when it's flat on the ground, you still have plenty of handle up in the air. Whereas you know some uh, some hell by the time you get to the ground, that handle's dang down on the ground. So just a couple similarities, uh, uh, differences between the between uh, the standard there and the new Razorback Pony. Uh, definitely a superior transfer shovel as long as you've got the strength and its weight.